Well, so it's the third, first uh, trash picking haul for March, and I found two items today. Just did a quick pass, and I found another melt crate, which is in really good shape, but needs a good cleaning. And then, very luckily, and I knew it was for a Bollins, I'll get to that in a minute, I found a lawnmower bag that works perfectly on this deck. So now, aside from having a broken wheel, which I need to replace, I have one of those actually, this mower is now pretty much ready for sale. So yeah, it uh, it fits perfectly. Today, Sunday, March the 8th, went trashing today, and all I found was this. I do consider this a very good haul for the day though. Didn't find anything else that was really worth it or anything. Everything seems to be pretty good on it. I'll, uh, I'll save the uh, diagnosis and everything for the actual video that will be up way before this video will. So that's all I found for today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add these videos into the trash picking haul because that's technically what they are, even though in some way I did pay for them. Um, but I'll go ahead and add them in just because I don't really know what else to do. Um, this one was a trade-in. I just sold that green Tecumseh. Gave the guy a little uh, knockoff on the price for it. Don't know if it's uh, worth fixing. It does have compression. The bag's a little beat up, but that could be fixed and sewn back together. It's actually a decent little mower. Um, really, aside from the fact that it's all dirty, it does have a side ejection port on it. There is oil in it, for whatever that's worth. Now it does, I think the uh, pull cord needs to be adjusted, which is ever so common with these, because uh, it doesn't like to go back in all the time. So, don't really know what's up with that yet. I'll have to uh, diagnose that and see if I can fix that. And this one I picked up today. It uh, needs the car by the rebuilt or just put back together. The guy said he tried to clean it out, but um, I assumed when I picked it up that he had put it back together, um, but he didn't. I took the bowl off, and three of the jets and the needle and the float were just sitting inside the bowl, not even you know in the carburetor. And uh, so I don't even know if the carburetor is good or not. I would think it is. This is a really old school Honda. Actually, I kind of like these. These are probably my favorite kinds of Hondas. I don't know how to date them. I'm sure there's a date on here somewhere, a date code. But uh, it's in very, very good condition. I mean, aside from some of the stickers, you know, coming off, uh, this mower is just in very good shape. And it's self-propelled, too, amazingly. Compression feels good as well. I think with a little bit of work and probably at most a carburetor rebuild, this thing will work just fine. And the air filter needs to be cleaned out. So I picked up this radio. Radio part works fine. There's my other garbage pick radio before. I don't think I showed you guys that. Actually, no, I did. Last garbage trash haul video I did. Uh, the CD player on this thing does not work. However, the radio clearly does work. Cloudy skies, expect a shower due to some drizzle in Radio City earlier today. Slight clearing, low 50, right now present. So, uh, that's good. It's got a digital display and everything. Uh, unfortunately, I actually bought that one brand new a couple years ago. Got that one for free, and then I got this one for free. Now, this one is going to be a good shop radio just because it's got an embedded antenna and everything. So that's kind of nice. Usually these are broken off in my experience, but this will do fine for out here. See, some of you guys don't, might not understand this, but you know, in a working or a shop type environment, sometimes the best type of stuff that you can have is stuff that you really don't care about getting broken. I mean, not saying that I'm going to purposely kick this thing off this table and smash the shit out of it, but at the same time, if that were to happen on accident, I wouldn't be I wouldn't care too much because I got the thing for free so that's kind of why I look for stuff like that but anyways all right guys so it's Sunday March 15th got a couple things 
Got a TV, get to that in a minute. Got a lawnmower. I just did a preliminary check. You guys can expect a video on this one more than likely. Uh, it does have good compression. There is still gas in it. And it wouldn't surprise me if the fuel system is just dirty. The primer bulb is kind of dicked up a little bit. Seems to be in really good shape though, you know, considering the fact. But I also found some milk crates. I always pick these up because they make uh, really good lawnmower stands when I do work on the lawnmowers. Put one on, put one side here, another side with another one. Sometimes you can get away with using just one if the lawnmower is the correct size. Now, I'm sure you guys want to know about this. I don't normally pick up TVs. Um, there's usually a very good reason for that, and it's because 99% of the time they're tube TVs. I uh, can't make any money on tube TVs. I don't bother scrapping them. I think it's a waste of time to pull stuff like that apart. Now these flat screens, I see these out from time to time. And I don't know if this is plasma or not. Here's the model number, but I'll just annotate the uh, video with a put in title. Um, plasma, screen, uh, plasma TVs, the pictures go out on them all the time. I'm not a fan of plasma TVs. I don't know if this is one, um, I would hope it's just a regular LCD if anything, but I mean I guess, to be honest, I would hope it works, period. Um, the only reason I picked this up is just because it was just in really good shape. So I mean it's worth the gamble to uh, see if it works or not. So let's go ahead and uh, hook this thing up and see if it actually works. Uh, well, not 100% sure yet. Looks like there's a little bit of burning on the screen. I don't know what cause would cause that. Let's try again. I don't have the remote or else I'd uh, adjust the brightness. Yeah, there's a little bit of burning. I'll have to do some more uh, checks on this thing to see if it'll work or not. Oh well. The screen might be burnt out under something. It's worth a shot. I mean, most of it works okay, but, you know, I just kind of picked this up to show off in the video. I don't normally pick these TVs up, and this is that reason. So, at the very least, if I can't get it working or if it's not a simple fix, it'll turn into shotgun fodder. So... Yet again, I picked up another perfectly good lawnmower. perfectly. Just needs a pressure wash. So it's the 28th of March. Just got done doing some picking. Put in a mower bag, which is actually a little damaged down here now that I see that. Probably can be fixed with some duct tape. Got a uh, flat screen TV stand. Another longer part. These are actually two different ones. Some fan parts. These are kind of jacked up a little bit, but they can be used. Found part of a fan. No bottom part. Didn't really look at it much more than that. Here's the other part of this uh, TV stand. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing yet. But uh, it appears that it's all there. Found a couple keyboards. I think the 
this one's actually wireless. <laughs> they didn't include the little fucking dongle. Found a couple of these uh, milk crates. I always make sure to pick these up as you guys know and then found a decent chair. I also found another one of these in another milk crate last night which are on the side of the house. So I got this fan fixed. If you guys remember that person cut off the cord, cut off the plug for the cord and cut the cord really short. So I went ahead and got some new cord, got a new plug wired that on. I had to take this thing completely apart and there's a little circuit board in here. And I just unsoldered the two uh, old pieces. I think that's not this part. Might have already thrown it away. Hmm. So I did throw it away. I uh, had this plug, but it's a little too small. So I didn't use it. But, anywho. Not a damn thing wrong with it. This thing pushes some air. The blade's a little unbalanced. So I do have a uh, stand over here for it. Need to uh, give it a good wash. Unfortunately, there's kind of a little blowout situation here. So what I'm probably gonna do is just stick this thing onto the stand, drill right through both of them, and uh, hopefully stick a uh, really long bolt and not maybe some washers through it. Make a good shot, man. Pushes more air than this one, actually. This is another one that I garbage picked. Tried that, uh, this blade from that fan on it, but Unfortunately, the uh, little retaining nut here is uh, a little too, uh, little too wide, a little too wide of an opening.